Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to start a new project. Now, what we're going to be doing in this new project is creating an FTP downloader so that we can connect to FTP servers, see what files are on there, um, download, upload, delete files, uh, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And if you don't know what FTP is, uh, then you may want to do a little bit of research on that. It's file transfer protocol and you can set up an FTP server of your own um, and it can host files and people can connect to it. Um, so we'll select a Windows Forms application. We'll call it FTP Downloader and I'll just add YouTube at the end of this. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And we'll wait for that to load. Okay, so once that's done loading, let's go ahead and create our form. So let's set the text to uh, FTP downloader and now what we need to do is let's add some labels and some text boxes so you can see here I've already created these and we've got a label and um, this is label 2 so let's call it label server we got label username and let's use label password and for each one of these text boxes we've got text FTP server which you can see right there text FTP user and text FTP password now whenever you're connecting to an FTP server you need a username and a password so here's our server um, this comes I have it set to default to have this server in there which is the one that we're going to be using and um, there's no use trying to connect to this yourself because you cannot connect to um, a local FTP server. This can only be connected to um, if you're on my network at home. And if you try to connect to this at, uh, on your computer, it won't work. So now what we need to do is let's add some buttons and a list box to show all the files. So underneath our server text boxes with the username and the password, let's add some buttons. So we've got update server, open folder, home directory, and download. So for update server, what this is going to do is it's going to let us change the values in these fields. Now you may be saying, well, you can change them anyway. Well, we're going to set it to where you cannot change the values of these fields while you're browsing through the server. And then you have to click update server to change the credentials. So we can open folders. So if there are folders on our server, um, we can open those. We can go back to the home directory and we can download uh, a file. Okay, so now let's add two more buttons. So we have an upload and a delete. So when we use the upload, it's going to upload to the current directory that we are in. So it'll open up a file browser dialog and it'll let us upload to that directory and delete will simply delete a file or a folder. Now, uh, you may be thinking, how is, um, how is it going to do this stuff? Well, we haven't actually added the code yet and that's what we're going to be doing in the upcoming tutorials. So let's just go ahead and add some more controls uh, that we're going to need to use. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste these in. And now you guys are going to have to create these controls. I have already made this program, so it will make it easier for me to teach you guys because um, I already know what's going to happen and how to do everything. So we had three buttons, load files, clear, and start checking for new files. So load files will load all of the files in the FTP server clear will clear our list box um, of all the files and then uh, start checking for new files will start running a um, a background process that will check to see if new files have been added and when it does it will notify if, if new files are found it will notify us so let's go ahead and we'll make everything just look a little bit neater in here. So now let's go ahead and add the list box that will show all the files. So I'll just go ahead and paste this in. So here is our list box and it has a label that says name and it's got a list of S FTP files. Now you can set these buttons to whatever you want um, but we're going to be using them with these names later on. We've got button clear list, button check for new files, button start check timer, button delete, button upload, button download, button home directory, button 
change directory button update settings and so now let's just go ahead and let the user know what directory they're in so we'll add a label that will show this so I'll go ahead and add a label here and you can see it says current directory now if you don't know what this is a directory is just pretty much a folder path so the main directory of your um, FTP server is going to be just a forward slash because you're not inside of any folders so go ahead and create this uh, user interface uh, make sure you name everything something easier for you to remember um, and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial where we will start adding code um, that will make this work